Hello everyone, Kathy Wheeler here. So I hope you are having a beautiful Monday. It is nice and sunny here in Michigan, which you, if you've heard me before, I always talk about how it's not normally sunny in the winter. So I am very happy that it's sunny. Um, and I would like to just start out by sharing a gratitude. And actually that is my gratitude that um, I get to enjoy the sun today. Kids are also home for a snow day, which was thankfully called last night right after the Super Bowl. Well, what I want to share with you today is a discussion of Gary, Gay Hendrick's book, The Big Leap. So it's The Big Leap, Conquer Your Hidden Fear and Take Life to the Next Level. And I am reading it on my Kindle app on my iPad. I would like to show you the cover, so give me a second here to get back to it. There is the cover if you want to get the book. This is an excellent book um, which essentially talks about how to remove your last obstacle. In fact, he says this in the book. Remove your last obstacle to ultimate success in wealth, work, and love. So what we're going to do today is talk a little bit about the introduction and then um, I will be going through the whole book eventually, but today we're just going to talk about the introduction go through what he teaches in that, and then kind of analyze what he does. So when it goes time to write your book, you have some ideas on what you should be including. So again, it's removing your last obstacle to success. He defines this problem as your upper limit problem, so the one problem that holds you back. Um, what he found in early in life was that once he got to a certain level of happiness, he would create a whole story in his head or a whole series of thoughts that brought him back down to a level. And so he kind of called this his upper limit or the upper limit, the amount of happiness that he could handle. And as he made observations, he observed this again and again throughout life in things like relationships, diet, and of course, business. So how many of you have found yourself there? I have. And that is why I'm back to reading this book and fully understanding it. So eventually he came to asking himself a question. And I'm going to read it here because I want to get it right. He asked, how can I extend the period of contentment in my life? The periods of contentment. Doesn't that sound wonderful? And it's like, wow, when you think about that, that is just fabulous. Who wouldn't want to extend the periods of contentment in their life? And then he broke that down further into three specific questions that he answered um, that or asked himself that he thought were more specific. So these were, if I can eliminate the behaviors that stop the flow of positive energy, can I learn how to feel great all the time? Who wouldn't want that? Great all the time. That sounds fabulous to me. The second qu question, and I'm quoting these, I'm reading them directly. Can I allow things to go well in my life all the time? In relationships, can I live in harmony and intimacy all the time? Again, what another great question. And the third one, can our species live in expanding waves of peace and prosperity, free from the pattern of messing things up when they are going well? So those are three good questions. And they definitely got me to thinking. And I mean, who doesn't always want a better life than they have right now. And so it's just fascinating to me that he came up with this upper limit theory, this um, definition, and then he goes through the book and gives you ways to overcome this. So that is what he covers in the introduction, and I think those are three good questions, or four good questions for you to ponder. And what I want to do now is just kind of break down the structure of how he does this, how he gets you to want to read his book. So first of all, in the introduction, he tells you the results you're going to get, right? Going back to removing the last obstacle that's holding you back from everything you want. That is amazing. Who wouldn't want those results? So he starts with the results, and then he defines the problem. He goes into specific examples, including Michael Dow and his own life. Um, your own life is very easy to give examples from. He lets you know how he's going to address you, and this is something that I definitely teach, how he wants it. It's gonna be in a conversational tone, and I've talked about this in a lot of videos, how it's great 
just like you're talking to a friend from a, across from a cup of coffee and one person, you want to be speaking to one person, not the whole world at once. So those are all things we talk about um, when I work with clients. And he tells you those questions that he asked himself so that you can get the same results he got. Those are, and they're great questions. And he tells you that he's going to go in further into them. Essentially what he does is he gets you really excited to want to read the book. Simple questions that you can ask yourself, results that he's achieved, and also I believe he might hint at some results he's helped clients achieve. And of course then he picks big areas of our life, so um, relationships, yes we want that, diet, yes we want to be healthy. And then he talks about business as well. And this is largely geared towards entrepreneurs. So that is a good thing there. So that kind of gives you an overview of what to expect from the book and the introduction. Again, I think it's such a great book. We all have things that are holding us back and this will help you to define them and really open your eyes as to um, what it is and how you can prepare your 